Hey welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. Today, I will discuss with you what happened with Mullen, some data points, and a recent development. Let's get started. So Mullen closed the day with a 10.1% decrease. Therefore, I believe that this decline is also contributing to Mullen troubles. At this point, there were no buyers because in this phase, as can be expected, people don't have much hope for any operations involving Mullen. Whether they obtained an EPA certificate or airbags arrived, there is progress. The only thing we are waiting for, as confirmed by Brad, is that they still haven't received their dealer license and they are expecting it to arrive sometime next week. Until it arrives, we cannot make any deliveries. However, technically, people don't believe that anything is happening in this regard. So once again, Mullen has taken a hit based on its past history. But who knows? Share your thoughts with me. Do you think Mullen is actually up to something behind the scenes? I know these are somewhat vague questions, but in this phase, it can be understood that Mullen has fallen so far because people don't believe in it, especially in terms of shorts. Shorts haven't done much today. Based on this, 12.47% of the free float is in shorts, and it's glitching, so no change is visible. But yesterday, it was 12.2%, so there has been a slight change. Roughly 800,000 shares may have been added. Short availability indicates that approximately 550,000 shares are available for shorting. When it comes to after-hours trading, there was some new information. Mullen acquired Romeo for a price of $3.5 million, which in my opinion was a very good deal. They acquired intellectual property, real assets, and many other things. But the only thing we know is that they packed everything up and took it to their Monrovia facility. A few weeks ago, I informed you about something in which it was mentioned that something was happening in Monrovia. But according to this news, it seems that Mullen Automotive is leasing a 121,000-square-foot industrial building in Fullerton. So it's likely that this is for battery pack production. It appears that Cha underscore Cha contacted David, and David has confirmed that it's for battery pack production. This will be for M1 and M3, as I hinted before. I don't have complete information about the expenses at the moment, but when it comes to in-house things, it often costs a bit more. One reason for this is that Mullen acquired a lot of assets from Romeo Old Facility and moved them to Monrovia because leasing such a large facility was quite expensive. According to this news, it indicates that the lease price per square foot is approximately $1.75. Again, I want answers to some questions before giving this my rubber stamp because, once again, they could have left Romeo Facility or they could have leased from there as this news suggests that leasing from Romeo Original Facility would have been much cheaper. Furthermore, I hope Chai Cha has confirmed with David that this is for battery production, so hopefully, along with this, an 8 key or price ratio should come that matches this, and it shouldn't just be like, trust me bro. Apart from this, your favorite person, Lawrence, also got involved in this. He was talking about some interesting things. He mentioned smoking up and said that it gives him good ideas and more. But he also talked about Mullen saying that the problem is that a Mullen representative once spoke to him and requested to do business with Mullen. Everyone was in agreement, but the next day, Mullen filed an 8K in which they said they have no intention of doing any business with him. This is why I have complaints about this whole situation, as I said before. As shown, someone contacted him to test, and according to the 8K, Mullen had never intended to do business with Lawrence. So in the end, the question is why did they contact him for testing? It's quite baffling. I can understand that this might be a situation where Lawrence is the bad student or maybe David is. It seems like you're discussing a financial or investment-related topic, possibly related to stock options and a specific company stock. If you're seeking advice or insights, I'd be happy to provide some general information based on the content you've shared. It appears that you're discussing the potential merger or partnership between two entities and the impact on stock options. You've also mentioned some specific numbers and options activities. Regarding your question about whether Mullen will reach $1 before the December 15 deadline, I can't predict stock prices or specific events in the market. Stock prices are influenced by a multitude of factors, and it's challenging to make precise predictions. If you're considering investment decisions or need advice related to your investments, it's important to consult with a financial advisor or conduct thorough research. Stock market investments can be volatile and risky and it's crucial to make informed decisions based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Guys, that's all we have for you today. 
What is your opinion about Mullen's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.